June 20th, 2011. Peak season in Tornado Alley. Oh, it's violent. Oh, it's violent rotation. Storm chaser Scott Peak and his partner Kevin spot the second tornado of the day in Nebraska. Oh my gosh, that is huge. It was a really tall tornado. Very unusual to have a high base tornado like this. through the camera you can hear you can feel the intensity that these men are facing as they're trying to get as close as they can to the tornado this is some of the most impressive storm chasing footage i have ever seen Pusher, on, on. Okay. as he crosses the road he takes out a group of grain bins and just shreds them like they're nothing oh green You can see this tornado is rotating pretty strongly counterclockwise, so uh, this is nothing to be fooled with. This is no dust devil. This is a full-fledged tornado, and it's about to move from right to left across the roadway. That's the danger of trying to chase these things. Certainly, they're putting themselves at risk. Just destroy that barn. Hope they're okay. We're going to have to stop and make sure nobody's hurt. Yeah. But Mother Nature isn't done. Unleashing a third twister on America's heartland. This is crazy. Scott sees three tornadoes within an hour or so, and he's looking at a beast right there. That's at least a half mile to a mile wide. Very dangerous. This third tornado is Silver Creek, Nebraska. And it again has a very low hanging cloud base. Probably we would call this a stovepipe tornado. Three funnels in one day is undoubtedly a thrill for a storm chaser, but there's a serious side. As a storm chaser, we give valuable ground truth because radar can't always see if there's a tornado on the ground. They are critical, actually, because sometimes there isn't really a good depiction on radar of the storm where you can't see in the lower levels. So when you have storm spotters like Scott, he can hopefully get warnings out earlier and people can stay safe and they can save lives. Oh, 